Hi, this is Care Heart, and you can see that I have some shimmer and shine that is the end result of a product I'm about to make here. And I'm using a Sustain bottle, which is an eyedropper bottle, to create this uh, product that you see me dripping on here. The purpose of this product for me will serve in a couple of different things, but what I really want out of it is to be able to drop perfect little circles um, and if I don't want just the shimmer and shine in a perfect circle I want to be able to brush it on. I also want it to stay wet longer for use in my jelly plates. So I have several ingredients that I've pulled together to make this product and I've repurposed an eyedrop bottle, something that my husband uses, which is a sustain bottle, so we have a couple of them laying around. And you can see as I brush this on that it has a fabulous uh, shimmer and shine, and in fact in person it's even more fabulous than what you see here. It stays wet for quite a while. So what we start with is the sustain bottle, which we are upcycling. And so what you want to do is you want to uh, unscrew the lid and take that little top out of it. And so I have done one already, and I'm going to show you the next one. And I would say show you how easy it is, but it was a bit of a hassle getting that little top off. And so I just fussy bucket with it for a bit and try to get my nail under that top little section there. And you can see that um, as long as you keep rotating it and trying to get your nail inside of there, or if it's not your nail, a flathead screwdriver or something small that can help you remove that top without damaging it. And now that you have the top off, um, if you have anything excess inside of your eyedropper bottle, then what you'll want to do is just have a cup nearby to pour the excess into. And while I peel off this label, which came off beautifully, um, I'll tell you the other supplies that you'll need. So you'll need uh, some type of alcohol that is 75% or greater. You'll need glycerin. In my case, I used palm glycerin. And you'll also need uh, your metallic paints. I use Deco Art silver and gold, uh, not both in one bottle. I use silver in one bottle, gold in the other bottle. This is the metallic paint that I use, and I have, uh, like I said, silver and gold. I'm not going to delay that too much, but what I'm showing you here is that uh, I want it to be a little bit more, or a little, somewhere near a quarter of the bottle filled with the silver paint. Otherwise, if you fill too much, it'll come out too silver. Now, <coughs> you already saw me drop it on. So if you think that came out too gold for you in the example, then you'll want to use a little bit less of this silver paint. I'm trying to show you and realizing very quickly that I have a difficult camera angle because I'm directly above the bottle for you to be able to see this. Uh, but I did want to show you the palm glycerin I use. And yeah, I do have it in a gallon bottle because glycerin itself makes wet wetter and stay wet longer. So uh, it's a byproduct of making soap. So you're not using any dangerous chemicals. These are things you would put on your body. Although I can't tell you what chemicals are inside of the deco art paints. So I've changed the camera angle on you here and am showing you that when I'm pouring this in, I am doing it straight from the deco art bottle because it has a small opening allowing me to put just a little bit of paint at the bottom there. Now you want to add your glycerin and you'll see I have a tiny funnel that allows me to put about a quarter of my container of glycerin. So the measurements, if you want to write them down, the measurements are whatever your container is, one quarter of that container is paint, one qu quarter is your glycerin, and the other 50% is your alcohol. And 
I recognize that glycerin makes things wetter and alcohol makes things dry faster, but I like the uh, drying effect that the alcohol will give to it, uh, so it will actually counteract the glycerin a little bit, but this is the Everclear that I use. If you don't have alcohol or don't want to have alcohol in your house for religious purposes, there are other things you can use. Uh, for instance, uh, rubbing alcohol, you can add into the paint. Personally, I don't like the rubbing alcohol uh, because they add ingredients that would make you not want to drink it, and I don't know what those ingredients are, which is part of the reason I like to make some of my own things. Realizing that that cute little tiny wine glass is not the right thing to pour the items in with, but it is what it is. It makes a mess just on the paper, thankfully. And both bottles are now full, so I place the lid on top, and it snaps right on. So now you know you can take that lid off and put the lid right back on. You see that the, all the items are separated, so all I'm going to do is take both of these bottles and shake them up quite a bit. I did notice that um, the gold uh, seemed to mix better than the silver, and I'm not sure why that would be. So I find that I'm shaking the uh, silver one quite a bit more. But you're done making this, and if you love Winkostella, or even if you've never used Winkostella, this is something that will allow you to add a beautiful shimmer to any of your projects that you're working on and upcycle something at the same time giving you an excellent product. Like, look at these drops, how perfect these little drops come out. And that was what I was truly hoping for because I, I love the simplicity of the dots and the circles. So I start to paint it to see if it's going to give me an extreme gold in the paint and it didn't. So then I start to brush it on and fell in love with the glimmer, even though it's still so wet. Uh, it does dry extremely clear, by the way. Uh, so you don't see any of that wetness underneath. You just see the shimmer and, and shine. But it stayed wet because we used the glycerin um, enough that you can use it to make tears coming out of someone's eyes when you paint a face and it'll be tears of uh, this glimmery substance. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, look forward to doing some other projects, especially using this lovely shine. Take care.